Hello everyone, with me today is a new addition to the swarm of OGT, and you are watching OGT. If you're interested in the Killer Bee Connecticut or many others from Black Label Trading Company or Black Works Studio, check us out. You know where to find us. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for us. It really helps inform you when we are releasing new content for the education of this industry. For this video, I am smoking the Royalty Corona. This is newly into the shop, 5.5 by 42 gauge, really richness and flavor. In fact, I had dropped a video about the uh, differences in perceived value and the differences of your enjoyment depending on what your emphasis is. And I had concluded, does uh, time constitute as value? For me, that has changed somewhat over the years. And a prime example of that, aside from the Royalty Corona, would be the Killer Bee Connecticut. So this is the new but old cigar from Blackwork Studio. Originally, this was released about four years ago, and it was sort of a small batch run, as we often see happen from Blackwork Studio and Black Label Trading Company. However, Killer Bee Connecticut has returned to regular production due to popular demand, many requests James Brown had received from uh, his consumers, from his friends, and so it has returned to take its place alongside the Maduro Killer Bee and the Green Hornet. Now, this is a Petit Corona. It is a four and a half inch long by 46 gauge. And you'll notice, just like the other Killer Bee, there is a Maduro twist on the top. So when you cut it, you'll have that Maduro cap, a little bit of that Maduro sweetness on the lips. But then one of the most important features and something I find really interesting, as well as a great educational tool, is the Maduro cap on the bottom. When you light it up, this is closed foot. So you don't need to, uh, to toast it up. You immediately jump right into it, light it up, and you get that Maduro flavor, Maduro sweetness. It's really interesting because you, you look at the wrapper, which is Connecticut, but you're tasting a Maduro cigar. Now, this is really interesting because you'll find that transition. You'll taste that flavor difference as it transitions into this nutty, creamy, mild to medium Connecticut. Really excellent execution. And when I had gone to the PCA trade show, this was definitely one of the highlights that I had tried. I kept going back to it. I enjoy also the size. Now, as I had mentioned, not always is... Uh, time attributed to the perceived value. This cigar has so much value in the way of flavor, especially if you're not just trying to get it over with and you truly take the time to savor it, to taste those notes, to taste the sweetness, the creaminess, it has a lot to offer. And that goes with a lot of smaller ring gauge. Although it is a price you're gonna pay for a shorter smoke, the flavor is unparalleled. Just like the, uh, the Corona that I'm smoking from Royalty. The concentration of wrapper leaf is there. The concentration of flavor is there. The burn is perfect, and it's actually lasting quite a bit of while. Now, of course, that depends on your smoking speed. However, I would not pass up the Killer Bee Connecticut, the Killer Bee Maduro, the Green Hornet. There are a whole host and list of Coronas. Why is it that the Corona size is such a benchmark? It's time to figure that out. If you get a chance, pick up the Killer Bee Connecticut, give it a chance, give it a try. It's a fantastic cigar, and it's a really good one to notice those transitions in flavor. As always, thank you for the support and joining us here on the channel. We'll see you next time. I'm Eric for OGT.